Well, I must say that was a bit of a successful wood trip. We've got 37 wood, 9 saplings, 2 apples. Actually, not too bad. So let's go. Whoa! The heck was that? <laughs> What's up, Agent Zero here? Man, I was not convincing with that intro, was I? I knew that was coming, because obviously I set that up. Welcome back to another Minecraft Pocket Edition video, and no, the error that I mentioned in the vlog is not gone. I just uninstalled and reinstalled Pocket Edition, and now blocks are no longer disappearing, which is good, so now I can start making videos again. But anyway, today what I wanted to do, let me go ahead and quickly switch into... Um, Creative. And before I go any further, I am actually not cheating in my own survival world. Uh, I just had to create a separate save file so that I can set this up. So I'm not actually cheating. My normal survival world is still uh, fine as far as cheats are concerned. So you don't have to worry about that. But I decided what I want to do today is a little bit of a prank tutorial. Because as you guys probably already know... Uh, April Fool's Day is actually coming up relatively soon, within a matter of days. So I thought maybe why not go ahead and do a little bit of a prank tutorial. Now, I'm going to say right now that what I'm going to be showing you guys today actually uses command blocks, which I know is a bit controversial on whether or not this is actually good for, like, multiplayer settings. But what I'm about to show you guys is actually completely harmless you just have to make sure that you have commands enabled on your server. So let me go ahead and come back up here. I don't know if you guys heard the first time because of my uh, fake reaction to it. So, or at least the first time I walked in during the intro. But here's what's going on. It's using command blocks. This is why I said it's a bit controversial whether or not it's actually a good idea to have uh, as a prank. But it's actually very easy to set up, and it detects whether or not the player is actually close enough in order to activate it. It's actually very, very simple to set up. So let me get out of here. I've actually got everything already set up in a chest back here. Not right here. I still need to get rid of this, and I still have some cleaning up back here to do. But I did finish my uh, farm in between episodes, which is good. And everything we need in order to set this prank up is inside of j this chest. We need two command blocks and one comparator. And that's it. Three blocks in total, I guess, if you really consider a comparator a block. So, this is actually very easy to set up. And I'm actually going to be setting up the command, typing it out, just as you guys are, so you guys understand what's going on. So... You put a command block down like this, comparator going out from that command block, running into another command block, and that's all the setup for placing blocks that you need. Now the remainder of the setting up is in the actual commands itself. So what I'm going to do first is actually the second command block, and I know that the arrows are pointing in opposite directions, but because of the way the redstone is set up, it does not matter what direction the arrows are facing on the command block. So the first command we're going to be inputting is a play sound command. Now this one you do not need to mess with any of these whatsoever. You do not need to do any sort of messing around with those but you do need to actually enter the command itself. So like I said I'm going to be typing this command out so you guys understand what's going on. So in command blocks, you actually do not need the forward slash like this in order to set the commands up. Command blocks will run them without them. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put in play sound. And that's the command we're going to be using. Now what we need to do is use the sound string. And there's a large number of strings that you can put into command blocks to create sound effects. I'll have a link down in the description to... A web page I found containing sound effects, however, it most likely is outdated because it was from a few years ago. And plus, there are probably sounds in that list that are not in Pocket Edition because not everything on that list is in Pocket Edition as of yet. But I'm going to go ahead and put in mob, and you want to put in a period, 
I'm going to put in guest, which is the mod that I used. And then there's one final piece to the string, which I'm going to put in, which is scream, which is the exact same sound effect that I did. Now, as far as the scream is concerned, you can actually put in one through five. I think you have to put it in square brackets first, but I'm not going to bother with that because that's just going to give us the sound that we want regardless. Now what you want to do is you want to put in your target. Now obviously, ordinarily you would put in something like at P, but if you want to target somebody specific so that, say, your friend on the server found the sound and activates it, you, at least he's the only one that hears the sound. So in order to do that, what you have to do is type in the target's name. In my case, a, nope, not H, agent... CPU zero. I'm sorry if I'm going kind of slow here, guys, but I'm trying to explain to you guys how these commands work. So what this is going to do is that once activate, it's going to play this guest scream specifically at me. Now you could obviously set it up so it's the nearest player or other entities, but this makes sh sure that it's specifically this player. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to set up coordinates which I'm just gonna put in the tildes as they're called most people just call them squiggly lines but they're actually called tildes and I don't want to put that there and there we go that is actually the entire command all put together so if I were to go ahead and pull out say I don't know a button I'm going to pull a button out really quick this isn't necessary for the tutorial I'm just kind of doing this as a bit of an example so if we go ahead and do this, as you can obviously tell, it makes the proper sound and it only plays it to me because it's set to my username. That's exactly how this works. Now the first command block, the one that's going to be doing the activating, this is a bit more tricky to set up and this requires a little bit of setting up. Now before I go ahead and set this command block up. Let me go ahead and do something really quick. Um, you need to go under game rule and you need to set command block output and send command feedback which is here. At, I did not mean to close that. You need to set command block output and send command feedback uh, to false. So let me go ahead and do game rule Again, so command block output, like I said, and command, send command feedback. You need to set both of those to false because then that way it's not appearing in the chat, which you can obviously tell nothing is appearing in the chat because of all this going on. And that's because both of those are set to false. So make sure you have that set up before you put this command in. Otherwise, you're going to see a lot of things happening in the chat. So let's go ahead and set up the actual command block itself. So what you want to do, you want to set this to the repeat command block type. And then you want to set it to always active. Now previous output is completely up to you. It's not completely necessary, but if you have this turned on, at least you know for a fact that the command has successfully run. So this is going to use the test for command, which is a very complicated command to figure out. But for the purposes of this tutorial, obviously I've managed to figure out how to get this to work. So I'm just going to be setting this up just simply. So what you want to do is you want to put in at A. From here what you want to do, you want to put in open square brackets. Then you type in name then equal sign and then this is the part where you put in the player's name you put in whatever player name you want that you want to be the victim of this prank so again agent cpu zero in this case and that's just gonna set it up so it's looking for me put a comma do not put a space in this next part, if you put it in, 
the command will be invalid. Trust me, I've done a lot of testing before I set this video up. I know for a fact if you put space in there, it does not work. So now what you want to do is you will put in R equals. And this is going to be the test for radius. And what I mean by test for radius, the command block that has this command is going to be one block. Any block next to it directly adjacent by touching at least one side is two blocks. And then one block further out is obviously three. So we're going to set this up so I have to be directly next to the command block in order to set it off. So it's going to be two for this. And you can obviously set this up to whatever you want it to be. Inside of my house, I had set up to three because then it at least activated when I walked over. I'll show you guys that in a minute. So now that we have all that set up, um, wrong set of buttons, let's go ahead and close the square brackets. And you have to make sure that they're square brackets and not another kind of parentheses or bracket because otherwise it will not work. And that's the actual command all set up and done. Now here's the way the test for command works. As soon as it receives that it's getting what it wants out of it, this comparator will turn on. So let me go and walk over here. That's because I just activated it because I'm within radius. If I walk back, it turns off. Just like this. And I am lagging so bad. There we go. And that's exactly how you set that up. So let me go back inside my house and show you guys how I set this up. And this mind you, is obviously wireless redstone. This is obviously wireless redstone. And if I can get inside my house, it would be helpful. Okay, so if I enter this command block, I have it set to a radius of 3, which means as soon as I step on the block directly above the command block, which means if I still had the wood planks here, stepping on the wood planks would activate it. And obviously that's doing the exact same thing. And yeah. So yeah, that's the command right there for testing for a player. And this plays the sound specifically for the player you want to prank. And that's actually going to have to do it for this short little video. Have fun on your April Fools. They just don't make anybody too mad. This is just a simple harmless prank. I wouldn't recommend using command blocks to say destroy anything or make anything disappear because that would be just too much but this I feel is something that can just be a little bit of a, a fun prank to play on someone so you're not really harming anything it's just for a good laugh so yeah that's gonna have to do it for this video hopefully you guys have enjoyed if you did make sure to hit that like button one more than make sure that subscribe in for future content also you can follow me on twitter at agencyp0 to stay updated this has been Zero Studios. Thank you guys for watching. Have fun on your April Fool's Day, guys. And with that, I will see you guys later.